The massive storm surge that rocked Rhode Island on Monday is still having impacts on people all across the state. Thanks for joining us here at 4. I'm Kayla Fish. And I'm Sarah Grinelli in Johnston. Belfield Drive, a notorious flood prone area, is once again dealing with feet of water, trapping residents on the other side of the flooded roadways. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us there now with video you will only see on 12 of how first responders are helping keep those living there safe. Matt? Well, Sarah, Kayla, you can see how bad that flooding is here behind me. Roadways and yards completely underwater. But this time, the town of Johnston says they're prepared, keeping first responders here 24-7 until that water recedes. Emergency vehicles roaring through rippling waves as traffic into Belfield Drive in Johnston inaccessible due to feet of flooded water. We almost died in a car one year. We got stuck in 2010. Belfield Drive has been at the heart of controversy for over a decade. After in 2010, water levels reaching as high as five feet, trapping those like Tanya Nova on the other side. Just imagine, you know, it, I know it's frustrating to hear about it, but to live it, it's a different story. The town installing a culvert back in 2018 to address the issue, but Johnson Mayor Joe Policina Jr. says not everyone took up the offer to sell their homes to build retention ponds, in part leading to this scene. There was only one detention pond created. It's a little bit under an acre, and what compounds the problem is the nature of the storms that we get. Not only do they happen more frequently, they're more severe than ever before. As mitigation efforts are underway to help those stranded. Our town planner has reached out to DOT to see if we can get temporary access to 295. Well, right now we have the, the fire department and DPW uh, up on Belfield Drive trying to mitigate the flooding. First responders from the fire and police departments aiding residents, taking Humvees through the water and bringing them to get essentials like groceries and medication. Well, we really appreciate it. This time, you know, definitely everybody did a better job. And it's the Humvees like this one here behind me that'll be here on scene on Belfield Drive 24 7 until this water recedes. Mayor Policina also making it clear that engineers will be out tomorrow to assess the damage and figure out why this happened once again. Reporting live in Johnston, Matt Paddock, 12 News. Thanks, Matt. The West Bay continues cleaning up following massive floods. While the Patuxent River water levels are receding, the damage there is done. Many are still in limbo, unable to even easily access their properties or businesses because of the pools of water. And that appears to be the case for many people in West Warwick. 12 News reporter Sheena Lashuto is back live right off of River Street, where it's still quite a mess there, Sheena. Well, you can certainly probably see that water behind me here in West Warwick. It's a drastic difference, though, compared to yesterday. For example, I would not have been able to stand here at all whatsoever yesterday. The entire area was underwater, so a major improvement. However, we're still seeing boats go down these roads rather than cars. There's still so much water, you can see the reflections of the cars surrounded by flooding. Astor Street in West Warwick, unpassable Wednesday. It's a mess. We get over two feet of water in the building, um, and it's a mess. By car, that is. Once again, business owners are bringing out the boats to check out the damage. We came down to evaluate the situation. The water was too deep to walk, certainly too deep to drive. So that's the alternative. Bill Place owns quality tile countertops, which is all the way at the end of the street. Today was the first step in cleaning up and planning the next steps. And he's certainly not alone. Many have been here before. I feel for a lot of a lot of my neighbors that are here. A few of them have been through the floods of 2010 as I was. And, uh, you know, I know some of them do not have insurance which is a real heartbreaker. While side streets still look more like a pond, on the left is video we took of a sign today. On the right, that same sign yesterday surrounded by water. Many are anxious to see the area fully dry up. And cleanup is really the key word off of River Street here in West Warwick. Many people just looking forward to the weeks of cleanup so they can get back to normal. Also, there are apartments and homes here as well. And we did hear those generators running for most of the day. 
And you know, this certainly isn't the only area hit. Exactly. A lot of businesses in Warwick also dealing with the same thing. We were at a brewery earlier there. They can at least access the process. They can at least access the property easily at this point, but it is just a big mess. They're going to be closed for at least a month. I'm going to have their story coming up new at five o'clock.